Hi, my name is John. I'm from Levittown, New York, and I'm a lifelong Republican. I've uh, voted for all Republicans uh, from Ronald Reagan uh, through Mitt Romney. Um, in uh, recent years, things have really changed my mind since I think uh, Newt Gingrich uh, led the, the march to impeach Clinton. Um, I didn't think that was right then, and uh, as Republicans went along, they become, became very divisive, uh, blocking uh, uh, judge uh, nom uh, nominations of uh, Democrats, and I was, um, I was not too happy about that. Um, yet I still continue to support Republicans because uh, they always believed in uh, low deficits, lo uh, low taxes, small government, free trade, you know, all the things that we've believed in uh, since uh, the end of World War II, all the uh, worldwide organizations that we helped form, um, the WHO, the IMF, uh, the United Nations, uh, we have uh, supported all of that since World War II. Um, in 2015, it became apparent that Donald Trump was really gaining ground as a serious political contender for the uh, presidency. Uh, I was hoping uh, that it wouldn't come to that, but uh, lo and behold, in uh, some of 2016, that's what we got. Uh, one of the first things uh, that I heard after we received the nomination uh, was, you know, asking uh, to get Russia's help on Hillary's emails. Uh, you know, although at the time I viewed that as sarcasm, I thought it was inappropriate sarcasm. Uh, since then, he's just done uh, worse and worse things. Um, you know, the the assault on the Gold Star family. Uh, this on you know fourth for the United States and he died and he should be held in the, the highest esteem and yet Trump uh, totally disrespected these parents. He's done other things against John McCain. Uh, he's done things against our intelligence community. Uh, he believes Vladimir Putin before he believes our intelligence community. He has uh, you know gotten out of. Uh, treaties, uh, it's his right to do so, but you know a lot of these treaties have been in place for a long time. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Obama uh, care, but it seemed to be a popular thing, and he tried to do away with that. And it, and when we came across the current coronavirus, he didn't extend the benefits, which didn't make any sense to me. Uh, seems like this was a time when we needed uh, that to be extended. Uh, he's done so many other things that I, I'm not happy about. The, his response to COVID coronavirus is totally inadequate. Uh, the, the leadership that he's shown is non-existent. Um, the uh, George Floyd uh, uh, death and the protests that followed, uh, his, his threat to use military against American citizens, I just I can't comprehend. Um, all in all, I will not be supporting Donald Trump in the 2020 election. I will be supporting Joe Biden.